nobody likes to ever think about getting an STD. The best way to prevent um, yourself from getting an STD is to be um, well informed of the increasing problem of STDs among college students. Sasha, at only 18 years old, attending college here in California, contacted HIV from a former boyfriend. She loved him and trusted him. Never in a million years did she think that she'd ever catch an STD. Um, now she has to take 9 to 15 pills for her illness daily. STDs are a serious brain problem, especially in college students. Being in a new environment and a new scene, they sometimes don't know how to react. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, every one in five people attending college will get a sexual transmitted disease. First, I will inform my audience about STDs and the problem with not getting tested among college students. Then I will list the causes of STDs. Finally, I will give effective solutions to prevent the STDs among college students. I'll first address my problem. College students living away from home, um, they do whatever they want, they go out, they party, um, they feel free, and they're experiencing their independence. According to the AIDS Project, here in California, the cases of chlamydia and gonorrhea, which are typical STDs and common among college students, have increased by 25% in the last three years. California has some of the largest party schools, college students party, four or more days out of the week, which gives them a higher chance of engaging in sexual activity and therefore getting an STD. According to Dr. Armini, head of the medical facility and technology of STD clinic here in California, he said that it is likelier that a college student will have a one night stand with an unprotected sex than the same age person not attending a college student because of the exposure of the party scene and the environment. The average student has up to three to four sex partners within a six month period. In a book called Hooking Up by Kathleen Vogel, she writes, college students are far too busy with their schoolwork and extracurriculums that they don't have time to date. It is more convenient and common for them to just hook up with someone from time to time. Moving on to the causes. The clear cause of an STD is unprotected sex, not using a condom. <laughs> According to the Youth Aid Project, it is said that every four minutes, someone under the age of 24 contacts an STD. Most people starting college are between the ages of 17 to 19, meaning that someone under the age of 24 is getting an STD every four minutes, then 40% of those people getting an STD are college students, and the saying that half of those people actually go to college. Um, College students are exposed to the party scene and partying long nights and drinking, therefore they're more likely to make unsmart decisions and have unprotected sex. Many students just don't get checked and they think they won't get an STD. And finally, when they get the symptoms of getting an STD, um, they've already passed it on to <laughs> three or more um, people. Um, by not getting checked, they're harming themselves and other people. Besides the fact that college students make unhealthy decisions, studies have also shown that colleges um, don't inform their college students of the risks and choices of STDs and unprotected sex. Uh, many students come from conservative families and they send their kids to like Catholic and Christian colleges. They don't like to um, inform their students or their kids of STDs because they feel like they're encouraging them to have sex. According to the article by Erica Roseanne, she says that many Catholic colleges don't practice providing their students with any form of contraceptions or condoms to protect against STDs because they follow the Catholic teachings. Many colleges such as the Manhattan College in New York and even closer, the Loyola Mary. Marymount University of Los Angeles say that they don't provide condoms because they stand behind the teachings of the Catholic Church and that is a sin to engage in sexual activity before marriage. Now that I have gone over the SDs and college students, the causes I will list solutions to help prevent the rise of STDs in college students.
there are many ways to stop and prevent yourself from getting an STD. April is actually um, STD Awareness Month. Um, spreading, spreading awareness about the impact of sexual transmitted diseases. The, fir the first and most important way to stop an STD is use a condom. Obviously there's um, male condoms, there's also lady condoms. Kind of weird looking. Um, <laughs> uh, the first, no. Um, there's also the GYT, the Getting Yourself Tested campaign, and there's a lot of people who sponsor it, like Planned Parenthood, there's um, the Palm Springs Service, um, STD services, and then um, get yourself tested, get your partner tested, or ask your partner to get tested. And um, although it is rare in college students because of the temptations, it, but it is a great idea to wait, or at least wait until you have a steady sex partner. Um, I have informed you about the problem with college students and not getting tested for STDs. As we have learned today, getting tested for STDs is very important not only for ourselves but for others that we might be affecting. And um, Sasha is now a spokesperson for the STD Statistic and Wellness Project. Um, she shares her story so that the same thing won't happen to other people that aren't informed or that don't use protection. She encourages young teens and college students to get tested and to have protection while engaging in sexual activity. Thank you, Pastor.